world. My name is Ben. This is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks about AnyLogic that I've learned over many years. And here's one that I have learned only fairly recently. So I've worked with the tool for over 10 years and there are still things that I don't know or um, sort of surprise me. One of them is that you can actually search for blocks in the palette. So I always use the painful way. There are lots of libraries here and each of those libraries has dozens of blocks. And over the years, I've kind of remembered then, I kind of know which block is where and how to find it. But I appreciate that it's very tough in the beginning because there are literally hundreds of them. But you can actually search for them. If you roughly remember the name, you just type it in. So you can see there's no search box there. But what you have to do is typically with your mouse, you're either here in the graphical box or you're writing some code that doesn't help you. You need to click on to the palette window to activate it. You can see it's now shaded in blue. And once you've done that, you just type what you're looking for. I just typed source and now it is showing me all blocks that have source in the name. Car source, fluid source, train source, whatever. And now you can just drag in whichever of those source blocks you need. Now, the thing to appreciate is this thing seems to be quite slow. It's probably due to the IDE that AnyLogic is using. Um, my machine is, is lightning fast, so I don't think it's a computing issue. So if I close this search box, it just takes a couple of moments for it to reset to the normal state. If I type for something again, it just takes a little bit longer than you would typically assume. But once you're happy with that, this is a, a fine, neat feature that I actually use from time to time these days. So nice little trick, perfect for any Logic 101. Thanks a lot.